do it. So in the edit UVWs, you want to go to tools, and then, uh, oh, first of all, what you want to do is you want to select your polys. So select your polys like this as far as what you want the wireframe to be, you know, what you want to export. So highlight those polys like so, go into tools, and right on the bottom here under tools is render UVW template. So you open this up, you get this little dialog. So you want to set this up to what your, the size of your texture is. Um, so this one happens to be a 512 by 1024. So that's what I want to plug in here. So on my width, this wants to be, you want to put this in 512. And what this is going to ensure is that the wire that it brings out is going to be able to fit on your texture that you've got, your texture template. Don't really need to mess with any of the other... Um, options on this here so once you got your size in it just go ahead and render uv template and that's going to put it over on my other monitor here i'll slide it over and there's your wire your wire template in that size so what you can do from here save that um, as a png uh, so i'm going to make sure you select png as the file format so it'll have the transparency in it and then just name it whatever you want i'll just name this as wire you can name it well, whatever you like, just to keep it simple. So I'm going to save that as a PNG. And this is the other thing. Um, as far as a PNG, you want that alpha channel in it, so that doesn't. It's got a transparent background. So yeah, just 24-bit alpha channel checked, and then doing OK, and that'll spit that out. Um, it'll put that in my working folder here. So let me bring that up. Uh, bring this back up here really quick. There we go. So in my 3DS, it's, here's my wire that I just spit out. So now I should be able, I'll be able to take this wire and apply that to my texture. So if I open that up, I already have it on.